talk about, and I figured it would probably be best if uh, we just come in and we can talk about whatever you guys are interested in hearing about. Um, I figured it would be better than sitting around hours planning a little spiel and then... Yeah, so whatever you guys would like to hear about, um, we can talk about how we make some of our things, um, kind of how, how we get together and operate as a group to, to build everything. We can talk about where we get our ideas from, we can talk about our characters' backgrounds, we can talk about the plans that we have coming up, and we can talk about really anything that you guys want to ask us about. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> 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 time provided, of course. We've only got a little bit under an hour, so... Um, first of all, you three left your prizes in my car. <laughs> from the costume contest, so here they are. Off topic. So let's relate it to this. You got the words for their steam on costumes. Yours. Alright, so does anybody have any questions? Or How did this whole style really come about? Style? Come together? Well, what really sparked the whole group of us was I was playing the video game Arcanum and it's just a delicious, awesome game. <laughs> and what, what really made me want to do costumes in that theme was the in the game you can create items by getting schematics and then you can collect random pieces of junk that you possess sufficient skills and combine them to invent things. And one of them was the Chapeau of Magnetic Inversion, which is a top hat combined with electrical coils powered by batteries and it generates a electromagnetic field around your body that helps to deflect bullets. And I was like, that's pretty much the coolest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> so I immediately set out to put together my own uh, ensemble in that sort of a style. And Arcanum is a steampunk game from the 1990s and it was, it's basically like a Middle Earth uh, if Middle Earth were advanced to the Industrial Revolution, there's orcs and elves and magic, but they have, they wear Victorian clothes and they have street lamps and revolvers and steam-powered armor of And uh, And then after that I played Rise of Legend, which is a, uh, a real-time strategy game oh. that's very cool. And those just really got me on fire with the idea. It was always stuff that I'd always liked, Jewel Burn and, and that kind of crazy brass weird machinery. But I never really knew there was a word for it until I played Arcanum. And so then I, uh, I lit everybody else on fire and we all got really excited about it and started assembling.